welcome back. I hope you're all extremely well and I hope you're all looking forward to Christmas. I thought I would do this video now because in this video I'm going to show you my absolute life-changing must-have if you don't have them you need to ask Santa for them products I need to get this out before Christmas so that if you don't have any of these products you can put them on your Christmas list and hopefully someone will get them for you and if they don't treat yourself this is not like my ride or die products this is not my favorite makeup products this is different this is innovative interesting new conceptual is that even a word makeup products like, like beauty products that are really different and a lot of thought has gone into them and they work exceptionally well and they are pretty much life-changing in the world of makeup i wonder how many of you guys can actually guess the product i'm about to talk about pause this video and comment down below what you think the first product is I'm going to talk about in this because I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to get this correct. No cheating! So the first product I'm going to talk about has to be a Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I bloody love this thing. This little pot of pure gold has been in my life for... I'd say honestly the last four or five years. Not this particular one. I actually bought this last week. This is a brand new pot. I got it from Arnott's in Dublin. If you guys are in Ireland and you don't know where to buy it cosmetics, Arnott's in Dublin sells it cosmetics now. So I got that from there and oh my God, I went makeup shopping with no makeup on and I don't think I've ever done that before because I didn't realize how awkward that would be. Oh my God, I felt like a troll. I was walking through the makeup like counters and everyone there was so beautiful and so well made up and I was like oh my goodness I feel so out of place and so awkward I actually left early I bought this and basically ran out of the store <sighs> so what this does because I haven't even told you guys why this is so amazing is it is this peculiar cream and it's this weird kind of like beige color or actually I have this in the color Transforming Natural Beige. This used to be the only color this came in, but now they have two other colors as well, but I haven't actually tried them because you can't get those two colors in Ireland, so I must get onto the It Cosmetics PR team. What it does, basically, it counteracts redness in the skin. I have rosacea, and I also have acne scarring, so I have really, 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 really red, uneven, blotchy skin. When I flush, my face goes so red, and it is getting better because I've been getting regular laser regular laser sessions to treat it in Dublin in the Beacon Dermatol- Beacon? What the hell is it called? Beacon Face and Dermatology in Dublin, that's what it is. I've been getting two different kinds of laser there, which is helping my rosacea, but rosacea is not a skin condition that you can ever cure. You can only kind of control it, so I do still have days where my skin is tomato red, and it really- kind of impacts my confidence. I hate going out of the house with no makeup on when my skin looks like that. So this little guy is a lifesaver. So you only need to take the tiniest amount. I'll show you the brush I use. I have this one, I have this one, and I did save a clean one that I told myself not to use so I could show you guys a nice clean one. And of course I've gone and lost it. Oh, here it is. Basically, at the end of these brushes, this little puffy part here, this is the end I use. And I always use this with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness because it works like a dream together. It is the dream team. So I'm going to like insert some demos here so you guys can see. This is my skin literally today before I put my makeup on. So I put the Bye Bye Redness on this side of my face, which is actually the side that is the reddest. This one here is getting pretty good. This one here still needs work. So I put it on my reddest side so I could show you guys how well it works. So I took the tiniest amount, like literally look how small the amount was that I took on my brush. Minuscule. This is why it'll last you forever. And I basically then just really gently start to work that into my skin. So I apply it anywhere that my skin is especially red or anywhere that I have a pimple, things like that. So I wouldn't recommend you put this on your whole face because it's not concealer. It's not foundation. If you try and do that, you will go through a pot way too fast and it's not going to look right. That's not what it's for. It's to color correct. The next one I'm going to talk about is what's on my eyes at the minute because I know I'm going to get questions about it. I'm not talking about my eyeshadow, by the way. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing on my eyes, the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. My eyelashes. These are from 1-2 Cosmetics and I have teamed up with 1-2 Cosmetics in this video and it was actually my idea. I'm pretty sure this is the first time, first time in a very long time anyway, that I've actually approached a brand and said, I'm going to be making this video, I'm going to be featuring your product, would you like to sponsor me? And they actually said yes, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited. I've been a huge fan of 1-2 Cosmetics since I first tried them, which would have been, I would say, a little over a year, no, probably about a year and a half ago now, because I remember when me and Darren went camper vanning around Scotland, I took these eyelashes with me, 
and I wore them every day. And actually, in my vlog, I was like talking about them in my vlog. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put it in whichever corner the tag goes in. I was like, these eyelashes are amazing, they're magnetic, and you just clip them on, Bob's your uncle. One Two Cosmetics were the first brand to come out with magnetic lashes, and then after that happened, it caused this huge like surge in copycat brands, but their product wasn't as good. So a lot of people were thinking that, you know, they can't work magnetic eyelashes, or that magnetic eyelashes don't work for them, or they can't figure it out, or they just don't like them. But a lot of people were getting kind of like the knockoff brand, and they are not as good as the real thing, and I know because I tried them. These are so easy to put on. My friend Michelle, she just does not wear like makeup hardly at all. Hi Michelle, if you're watching, I love your guts. She doesn't wear makeup hardly at all, but I gave her a pair of, um, I think it was these, or maybe it was a natural pair of the accent lash, and even she can put them on. And if Michelle could put them on, anyone can put them on. It's that easy. So I'm gonna put like a little demo here of how I applied mine today. So easy, like, I'm not gonna lie, it is tricky when you first get them because it's like, a whole new product. You don't apply them the same way as you apply, you know, traditional glued on eyelashes. It's not the same whatsoever. You're applying these using literally the eyelashes themselves. Like there's no glue involved. They do come with tweezers in the box. I don't use the tweezers, but I know a lot of people do. I kind of figured out my own way of applying them and that's what works for me. And that's what I recommend with these eyelashes is when you get them, play around with it. You will find your own way of applying them that works for you and that you find the quickest and the easiest. They're also extremely good for anybody that is allergic to lash glue or latex or any other kind of adhesives. And they are completely reusable. I swear to you, a pair of these would last you a lifetime. Because you don't use glue on them, you're not tugging them and pulling them off your eye and you're not having to constantly clean them to get the glue off so they're not breaking, do you know what I mean? But you can get, where have I put it? Hello! You can get a wash for them. So when you get the lashes, they come in this box here. It is very bougie. It has the One Two Cosmetics logo on the front. That way you know you're getting the real deal. When you open it up, your lashes will be inside and a pair of the magnetic tweezers as well to apply them. There are other styles of the lashes as well. I've got them all here. So here you have the Founders Lash. This one is really, really natural. And again, it's an accent lash, so it just goes on the outer corner of the eye. Then you have the Allure Lash. These are more bold. They they are thicker, they're darker than the Founders Lash. These are my favorite, the Allure Lash. That's what I'm wearing today. Then you have the Accent Lash. These are the most natural ones you can get. So these ones are really, really subtle. So they're kind of your eyelashes, but better. So if you really don't want to look like you're wearing false lashes at all, go for this lash. Then you have the Uptown Lash. This one, again, is more on the natural side. It's really elegant, really classy, just a nice kind of sleek, full lash. I have actually done a video as well, guys. I did this video last Christmas. I'm um, showing you how to apply the full length magnetic one, two lashes. So I'll put that in the top corner as well for you if you want to see in depth how to apply those ones. Then you also have the Bombshell Lash. This is another full lash. And this is my favorite full lash. I find them so comfortable to wear, but they look so good on. And then you have the Runway Lash. These lashes are really bold. They're very full. They're very black. So if you really want to go for like a full on glam look, this is the lash that you would go for. These lashes are not disposable lashes. These are not the, you know, one wear and then rip them off and throw them in the bin lashes. These are lashes that you would keep forever. And the price does reflect that because these are not regular lashes, they're not disposable. And I think that's another thing that a lot of people were like, wait, what? These lashes are definitely an investment, but they're an investment that's worth it. I have had so much wear out of my lashes. I wear these all the time. Yes, I still wear them to this day. Once you get the hang of it, they're so quick and easy to put on. They're so quick and easy to get off and they will last you forever. The next product is going to blow your mind. Do you guys remember how sparse my eyebrows used to be? If you don't, I'm going to try really hard to find some old footage close up of my eyebrows because I have basically no eyebrow hairs and the eyebrow hairs I did have were completely skew if They were like one was over here, one was down here, one was over there in Tasmania. They just did not look like eyebrows. They were so shit. Brows were the bane of my existence. Like I did not enjoy filling my brows in because I could never get them bloody right. I was like, Ugh. I have no like stencil to go off because they're so all over the place. My brows don't understand what's going on and neither do I. What happened was I remember I got sent a brow serum from a brand, blah, 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 blah. oh God, what was it called? I swear I have the memory of a goldfish. Um, I'll put the brand here because I can't remember off the top of my head. I was sent in PR one of their brow serums and I remember I was using that for a good couple of months and I saw really good brow growth. 
And the thing is, I was such a skeptic, I would have never gone out and actually purchased a brow serum because I was like, eh, it's a novelty, like, I highly doubt it actually works. But because I got sent this one, I was like, I'll give it a go. And I did definitely notice brow growth. My brow started, like, filling in a bit and I was like, oh my god, okay, this is actually working. I think I th went through three, like, little vials of that. I was going to buy a new one, I was like, you know what? I've heard really good things about Revitalash, so I'm going to try Revitalash's brow serum and see if that's any better or if it makes a difference. So I purchased this. This is the Revita Brow Advanced Eyebrow Conditioner. This is my second one. So I've been using this for probably two and a half months now. That's a complete estimate. And I've been using it every night and my eyebrows are blowing my mind right now. So this is what they were before, and this is what they are now. This brow here used to be my worst brow. Oh my gosh, this brow was basically non-existent. It was the crappest brow in the history of brows, and now this brow is growing like a wildfire. Like, there's hairs everywhere. I'm even having to start plucking again. I'm like, oh, look at me plucking actual eyebrow hairs. But now, like, look guys, you can see there's like tiny little baby brow hairs starting to grow in as well, which are gonna hopefully form into real brow hairs. So I've been applying this like crazy every night without fail. Even if I come home drunk, I wash my face and I apply this. I'm not even kidding you guys. I really want eyebrows because I have had so much eyebrow tattooing done to my eyebrows throughout the years. Like, I probably don't even know at this point how many times I've had my eyebrows tattooed and it doesn't last on my skin. I think it's because I'm so oily that the ink just out of my eyebrows is like poof, gone. Whew, where's it gone? I don't know. This is very bloody expensive. I paid 99 euros for this, I think it was, which for three mils um, is ridiculous. I know, I know. But from my experience, it works. So if eyebrows are life to you as well and you are very serious about eyebrow hairs, I mean, from my experience, this works. So you could give it a try. The next product is one from Sigma. So this is the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. And I know you guys are probably like, what? How is that innovative? Like, how is that cool? How is that life changing? This one is extremely good. So what used to happen with me is I would put um, black eyeliner pencil on my waterline, usually my top waterline, and probably give me 40 minutes and it would be on my lower waterline as well, in the inner corners of my eyes, probably out here as well, probably on my hooded eyelid. And I was like, this is so crap because I didn't apply you there. I don't want you there. So when I got this, I was like, hmm, interesting. From the get-go, I could tell this was different because I put it on and I blinked. Usually I'd end up straight away with some on my lower lash line. Nothing happened. Nothing was there. I was like, okay, this is different. I'm going to draw some on my hand right now so I can show you. Right, give that a few seconds just to set in place and then I'll show you it doesn't budge. Another cool thing about it is the twist up, which is really handy because you don't need to have a pencil sharpener with you. But the other cool thing about it is that its little bum pulls off, right? So you can pull its bum off and it has a built-in sharpener. So even though you don't need to sharpen it, and in fact, I never do, but if you want to, you can use this little sharpener and sharpen the nib of the eyeliner itself into a really fine, well, however fine you want the point to be if you're doing like really detailed eyeliner work or something like that. Now, that should have set in place, so I'm gonna rub it and, yeah. Ow, I'm pressing so hard. And like, I'm literally pressing so hard, guys. Can you see? Like, my hand's going red and it doesn't bloody budge. It's so good. This is by far the longest wearing eyeliner I've ever tried in my entire life. So Sigma, you did an excellent job on this eyeliner. It is amazing. The next product is so weird. When I first got it, I was like, eh, what is this? And what it is, is this. <laughs> this is actually an eyelash curler. It is a heated eyelash curler. So it's kind of like a blow dry for your eyelashes. So I'm lucky in that I have naturally curly eyelashes, but my little sister Knit, her eyelashes, for some reason, are poker straight. Like they are, they poke out like This one here is epic because it's extremely gentle on your eyelashes. It's not gonna damage your eyelashes in any way, but it's also heated. So it's literally as though, you know when you blow dry your hair and you've got the hair dryer and the big round brush and you're curling it that way? This is kind of what it's doing. So the heat, is helping you set your curled eyelash in place so it's going to hold for longer. So if you have like really stubborn eyelashes that want to be straight but you want them to be curled, you need this in your life. So what you do, oh this is from Miraness by the way, I didn't even tell you, the brand is Miraness which is an Australian cruelty free brand, they're amazing, they have such good products. So what you do, you put the batteries in it, 
you switch it on and you'll know it's on because the little light comes on here and give it a few moments to heat up like you'll be able to feel, it's not going to burn you you can touch it it's not like hair straighteners so you'll be able to feel once it's heated up and once it's heated up you literally treat it like any other eyelash curler so you will put your eyelashes i mean i'm wearing false lashes right now but you would put your eyelashes in it press this up so that it shuts like that hold it for a few seconds let go then you just turn it off curled eyelashes. I just thought that was such a cool product because I've never seen it before. It's really innovative and really, really good for anybody with like straight eyelashes that struggles to make them curl. I highly recommend you try this because it does work well. I tried it on myself and my eyelashes were literally curled back touching my eyelids and I was like, oh, calm down. So that is all the products that I think you definitely need to have in your life. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you actually tried any of these products and do you feel the same as me about them? Or if you don't have any of these products, what product are you going to ask Santa for? I will link them all in the description box down below, so feel free to send Santa your list from there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I will probably see you very soon, if not tomorrow night. Love you. Bye.